It's Triple the Trouble here on LBV TV where we are doing Trails End. A lot of teas. Triple the Trouble, Triple Trails, Trails End. And we are getting to try all the new foods yes. here at Trails End as well as not trying to dress alike from shoplbv.com, <laughs> link in bio. Okay, but before we go in, this could be a controversial vlog. You're probably like, Trails End controversial? No. So, a lot of people aren't necessarily thrilled about losing the original dining that happened here, where you got to sit down with a giant uh, buffet, all you can eat, um, prefix menu with the big, of course, uh, hearty breakfast and dinner, stuff like that. Um, I never ate here, so full disclosure, I don't know what it was like before to compare it to. But a lot of people said they love it. Like, if you are a fan of Fort Wilderness, let me know. Are you sad about the change? There's a major change behind me. Can you tell what it is? They got rid of the rocking chairs. Oh, uh, if you know what I'm talking about, there's amazing rocking chairs usually out there. You sit, have a drink, gone. As we're walking in, the first thing you see is a s'mores kit. And you know, you got to get s'mores and do the whole campfire bit here. It's fun. But also what looks really good is the homemade pizzas that literally you can watch them making it and different kinds like the cheese and pepperoni. The smokehouse one looks amazing. Again, they put tons of different meats, um, brisket, you name it. Now, I was told by our friends this does feel a little smaller than usual. I mean, I think it looks the same. I can't tell, but we're going to try to find a place to sit. Let me know in the comments if this looks smaller to you if you've ever been here before. It looks the same to me, but I've only been here once. And then down below is Crockett's Tavern, the bar, as well as new drinks, and they even have food. I was like, what? So you can see they're actually eating something different than what we're getting. Remember, a lot of people stay here um, as cabins for long periods of time or in RVs on the campgrounds. So again, this is a great place to go grab some of those items as snacks if you want that are a little bit heartier than what you find in the gift shop. I see mac and cheese ready to go, cowboy beans, chili, mashed potatoes, pecan smoked whole chicken. What's a pecan chicken? Like smoked with pecans? Oh my goodness. A pecan. Oh my goodness. Pecan smoked whole chicken. Yeah, what? Okay, these are the desserts that Kristen sent me a text with and I was like, oh, a Fruity Pebbles cookie. Again, they look unassuming. A s'mores cookie, but no, inside them is deliciousness. A hot cocoa cookie. They ain't just regular yeah, cookies. Two pieces of bread. Milk toffee cookie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> two pieces of white bread for 99 cents. You know, there you go. Make your own sandwich very expensively. Or a PB&J cupcake. I see a Nutter Butter right there. Um, but yeah, I'm most excited about the cookies. Again, they look unassuming, but inside, I bet, is delicious ingredients. So a lot of these are new too, even the overnight oats. Yes. That's what fancy people get at Whole Foods. <laughs> yeah, I've never even had that. I don't even know what that is. I just know the healthy people eat these. And then there is an amazing s'mores cupcake, a strawberry shortcake. <gasps> this looks really good. Wow. I don't even know overnight. Let me know in the comments. Some of the things I'm excited about are just simple things like banana pudding. And one major tip and trick for your Disney vacation is definitely doing the refillable mug. Trust me, they got Pib here? Who remembers Pib? Wow, this is quite the food. We got a giant gravy mashed potato. Is that the side? Yeah. Wow. Wait, you All wanna right. know something crazy? Show me how big the side is. It's, it's really large, but look at this. Okay, Yeah. so for $24.99, I got four pieces of fried chicken, okay. four ribs, two large sides, and a loaf of cornbread. That could feed all of us. We didn't even need all of this. I know. Wow, that's holy moly, for, for $24.99? For price, yeah. Now the cookies, that's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> These darn things are $4 each. So I guess where they get you is <laughs> not dessert. on this. We got all the desserts too. I got literally all the desserts. Even the banana pudding, that was a Maria choice. Oh, you got the, I got the blueberry. Lemon, I got the strawberry. That's oh, you got the lemon blueberry, the strawberry. Guys, we're trying literally everything basically on the menu. Somebody's gonna puke today. <laughs> Like the, like the pickle milkshake, like the pickle yeah. milkshake. So many, it's gonna be me. I don't know brisket, but Kristen does. And she's saying it looks a little fatty and a little overcooked. Brisket's supposed to be nice and pink and red and have a nice smoke ring. I just see some well done roast beef here. Uh oh, maybe that's why it's 24.99. <laughs> We're gonna find out. 
And that pizza, what kind of pizza is that? This is the barbecue pizza. I actually think it looks really good, but I do have to agree with Kristen about the brisket. When this was the old Trails End and it was all you care to dessert or all you care to have, they would bring out delicious brisket nonstop to your really? table and everything was good. All right. Like I said, this could be a controversial vlog. <laughs> Alright, so these are the ribs. I don't know, they're not even pulling apart. You wanna try it? <laughs> Kristen, you give it a go. Here you go. All uh, oh, right, okay. Oh no, that's so hard. No, I'm good. I'm good. No. Fun fact: I'm really not supposed to eat meat um, due to no colon still rolling. But if something's really soft, really tender, I can eat it. That uh, that rib was really hard. When it wasn't pulling apart, I'm like, oh, that's a bad sign. Promise, like the chicken. So let's see. It, it pulled apart at least. Oh, it's very good. It's a hoopy doo chicken. Yeah. Very good. And soft. Mmm. Chicken is mm. good. It's super soft. Mmm. Very moist. Mm. A win. And again, because it's family style, $24, you can get like the whole shebang. Giant mac and cheese. Check this out. It's the size of my head, the mac and cheese. The gravy with the mashed potatoes. Again, you're gonna get a giant container. So easily, me, Promise, and Kristen probably could have gotten one family meal, maybe two, and shared it and not gone this crazy. And if you don't order a fountain drink, oh. you can get like a Disney Mickey or Disney 100. Oh, that's little Coca -Cola cute. Little Coca-Cola bottle. Isn't that cute with little Mickey on it? They got, they thought of everything. They did. Okay, so I was told the Hookie Doo has the best chicken. Yes, this is 100% from there then. Mm. Very good. It was so good. Wait, the whole bag of chicken. Yes, you get a giant bag of chicken. I mean, we're still going at it. Uh, really good. So maybe there is a light at the end of the trails end tunnel uh, with at least the chicken. We housed this. Three ladies and Travis. We were just saying, I'm convinced this is the hoop doo chicken. Is it? Yes. That's why it's so good. Yep. So, okay. I was like, it's delicious. So when in doubt, first go to Hoopty Doo. But if you're stuck and you're really yeah, wanting that chicken, everybody agrees the pizza is awesome because it's all the fixings of the barbecue on a pizza. Who doesn't want that? But to skip the barbecue when it comes to the brisket or to the ribs that I couldn't pull apart. I know this is such a beautiful view in a box. This is the pulled pork sandwich. I'm hoping it's good. Let's find out. I had to see the inside meat because I've had some inside meat. Inside meat, <laughs> not the because they could hide it in the bun like some bad meat. So I wanted to see. It. Let me. I'm gonna find out. It's so dry. Just get the chicken. Yeah, just get the chicken. Look, at the end of the day, you can't go wrong with mac and cheese. It was lovely. Mashed potatoes, love. Again, when I'm stuck at home. This is what I make. So I mean, you make homemade mashed potatoes and mac and cheese. You know this ain't homemade. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's bulk, this a bulk, a bulk made. Homemade. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no, but you know what I'm saying. I mean, yes, this mac and cheese is better than mine, but it's good. You really, I mean, it's hard to mess up mac and cheese and potatoes. What do you think of the chicken? Oh, hoopty doo chicken is always really good. So, do you think it's the best chicken on property? Uh, no, homecoming is. Better. Homecoming. Oh, okay. I've By never been there. I've never been there. <laughs> homecoming. I mean, it's what they do. Okay, yeah. I mean, I hope so. The guy that makes fried for. chicken for Oprah. <laughs> um, yeah. Everything so far has definitely been hit or miss, but I always like to remind myself this is opening weekend. Like, they're still getting their ducks in a row. Even though it was a restaurant before, these are different menu items, a little bit to what they were That's serving. True. So give it the benefit of the doubt and maybe just get the fried chicken. Yeah. Promise got the seasonal. Yeah, we already old went fashion. to the tavern. This is the little seasonal, old fashioned. Very, very nice what little makes it whiskey. Seasonal? So it has like different sort of bitters in it, Angel's Envy, bourbon, correct. A pumpkin? I think it's, a, a pumpkin? it's like a clementine, I think you said. Yeah, like clementine, like orange, oh, like orange cool. almost, but clementine is also like a little country like sounding yeah. name. It's really cute. And then I've had my eyes on this thing for a while. This is the moonshine flight with three different types of moonshine. Oh, hold it, it's gonna fly away. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is a goalie wumper 
moonshine, yeah. whatever that Some means. A blackberry lightning moonshine and a spiced apple, which I think I'm really gonna like that one the best. So a golly womper isn't like the Muscle Shoals has got the swampers, you know, from that song. Anybody, anybody, let me know in the comments. Anybody got my, did you guys get it? I have no clue what you are talking about. They don't know good music. Muscle Shoals has got this one. And the Gully Womper. The Gully Womper is a peach moonshine. So, hey, how can that be bad? I love peach pie, peaches, anything peaches for me. Now, what I'm most excited about is actually the desserts. This is banana pudding. Now, that's box pudding. I know my banana pudding. You can skip it. I mean, if you like banana pudding, you know banana pudding, like you make it and stuff. That's from a box. Okay. Yeah, skip it. I just opened the container and strawberry juice just flew in my face. So heads up, and a strawberry shortcake, the You're juice will... It. Oh, it's spill... <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's going everywhere. Heads up. But it smells like real strawberries, not some weird preserve with preservatives. Let's see. Mmm. Winner. Winner, winner, along with the chicken I just had for dinner. Yes, very good. I also think this is the Hoopty Doo Shortcake. I'm pretty sure they took all the good stuff from over there, brought over here. And then a couple of the items are, I don't know, maybe they bring all the whole thing over here. Yeah. And this is the trifle, which is basically a fancy word for mousse with lemon and uh, blueberry. Well, that's very good. That's, that, that's why I was hoping the banana pudding, just, the banana pudding kind of tastes like banana and the color juice. Is beautiful. No, very good, but I can't really eat the whipped cream. You can take it off. So there's only a, like a little bit of actual, I would say it's a lemon blueberry pudding. Very good, um, but can you get this somewhere else? Yeah, probably. Cookie dealer, everyone take your piece. Uh, we got cookie pie. <laughs> I, I choose the, the fruity dress. pebble. You got all the cookies. So this is a s'mores. Wait, are we doing oh, yeah, s'mores or fruity first? Well, well, Maria took fruity pebbles. Oh, yeah, yeah fruity pebbles. Fruity first. Fruity. Still fruity. I love, look how look how fancy Kristen cut this. I know. Are we dinking them? Yeah, let's let's pretend pretend cheers. 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 I love fruity pebbles. It tastes like fruity pebbles. It's a little fruity cookie. If that's a good one. That's our favorite. If that's the best one, we're in trouble, Jim. <laughs> 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 There's yeah, stale there rice crispy sure treats in it. No, that's no. This is stale rice crispy treats. Oh, this was what I was rooting for. We're about to try the s'more cookie. Okay, s'mores cookie. Come on. The chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. Promise and Kristen are giving these beautiful adjectives and nouns to describe these. And the chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> you know what that tastes like. Nestle. So well. <laughs> So which one's gonna be the best out of the cookies that are not? The chocolate chip cookie that we didn't order. This is gonna be good right here. Oh man. Come on, I have faith. This is the salt to toffee. Well, I will say the short, again, whatever you can get at Hoopty Doo has worked out wonderfully, by the way. This is not served at Hoopty Doo, so it's probably not okay. Kristen, which one is this? The cookie dealer now gives to you the salted toffee. I salted toffee? Oh, that's gonna be good. I, I mean, how can you screw up salted toffee? All right, salted toffee. I love toffee. How can this, how can this be bad? Oh, yeah. That was, okay. The one I wasn't expecting. Okay. It tastes like caramel. Uh, nice salt. Also, there's a like a crispy crunch to it too from the toffee. The one that we did not expect. Very good. If you like toffee, I think you'll like. If you like caramel, um, yeah. Didn't see that one coming. Question about the cookies. Do we love the salted toffee one because it's at least like unique and good, or was it actually good? What was the most unique? It just had the most flavor. Like yeah. A more unique flavor. Yeah. Not something that I'd ever run here for. But yeah. And, Actually, that's a great point. I wouldn't come here just for it. Whereas other items at different sections in the Disney resorts, I would absolutely come yes. just for them. Yes. So now this is the hot cocoa cookie. I'm just gonna take a little bit because I've been very disappointed by these cookies. This is how the cookie crumbles. Isn't that what they say? Is that a saying? I got it right? 
Yeah. That tastes better. Just yeah, again, just chocolate chip cookie. They look really good on Instagram on the Disney parks. Disney Eats thing. Well, we love showing you different foods at different resorts. But also, in case you want something unique that you can't get at your home. Because we're local. Um, so for us, it's easy to come to these restaurants. But for you, you want to be able to pick and choose something that, again, is maybe worth your time. Or if you're staying at this resort, where to you spend your money? Because these were $4. <laughs> Four dollar cookies. Skip it. Everybody's taking a little something home with them. And Promise was so sweet. She was like, do you want a cookie? I was like, no, nah, I make better ones at home. <laughs> and look at our trash. Yeah, I know. We really we got a lot of We food. went crazy pants. Next, we're going down to Crockett's Tavern to try some of the new drinks, like the Moonshine Flight, which I bet it's going to be awesome, and uh, some other goodies. Let's see. So now you can literally just walk downstairs to Crockett's Tavern for a new menu of fancy food bites, like fried green tomatoes, as well as fancy sliders with pulled pork. Um, some of it's really expensive at $21. So I don't know. I, I, I don't know. This is very expensive. Crockett's Tavern, we have the All Aboard Moonshine Cocktail Flight, the Berry Buckle, which sounds delicious. The moonshine margarita, a lot of moonshine going on here. Camper's coup. Who are they doing a coup on? Meadows Cup. Let me know out of this list what you think sounds good. You can see the prices here as well, which is similar to any other Disney Park, Disney World prices. Front porch sipping cocktails, but there's no longer any sort of uh, rocking chairs. They even have some mocktails that sound very good, like the Pink London Spritzer. Now here's the dessert trio. Fun fact, what we got basically costs the same for all three. So you can actually get a bigger bite of the dessert trio, getting it from up top in the plastic cups versus the fancy cups. There's also a charcuterie board, but very expensive. Chicken bites, crispy cauliflower, and the sliders that sound very good. Again, it sounds like a more high-end appetizer experience. What it looks like behind the scenes, guys. All right, so this is the moonshine flight. I'm gonna try the blackberry lemonade. You're trying the apple. apple. And what's that, the white lightning? It's the golly womper. The golly womper. <laughs> We're just gonna get, try to get promised to Sounds like a disease of some sort. All right, let's try. Very good. Basically a blackberry lemonade. Tastes very similar to what you get at Epcot or at the other Disney parks, but I heard yours is very unique. Like, like Christmas in a cup. Yep. Ooh, and how about yours? Mine tastes very, very moonshiny. Gully wumpery. Oh. Gully wumpery. <laughs> so I heard the white lightning though is super strong. Oh so yeah. So if you drink enough. Yes. You will feel the lightning. You will be riding the lightning. <laughs> So as we're having some drinks, I thought of something that somebody mentioned to us at Food and Wine Festival in Epcot, that if there was a drinking game associated with each channel, what would it be? Ah, and what would be the, the word, what would be yeah. the word that coincides with that channel? Let's see if Promise and, can guess what they said for mine. Uh, beverages. Yes, that was it. That's what they said. Beverage. <laughs> um, now, Ken, if you are a child watching this, it's a water drinking game that we do here. And um, if you're an adult, sometimes you try these. I say, oh my goodness. You do. Easily, oh my goodness. Easily like 30 times a video to yes. the point. It gets crazy pants. I just say that a lot. And you say crazy pants. I say crazy yeah. pants and oh my goodness. I would just say like all the good things because I say oh, that at the say end that. of my she videos. Does. So it's like all, all the good, good drinks. Maybe. Yeah, she, no, you say drinks. all the good things. Yeah. You say that a lot. All right, Travis, do you agree? I was going to say it doesn't really do anything Wait, with a drink, but tastes very, Drinky. very... Drinky. Yeah, drink is something that <laughs> Promise very, would say. Very. That every time you hear Promise <laughs> say it, tastes you very, would... very. Yeah. It does. So, well, cheers to Beverage. Oh my goodness. And... Holy uh, Whopper. And... Promises, I guess, new phrase. <laughs> I think she's had a couple. Golly Wumper. Couple Golly Wumpers. They got the crispy cauliflower, as I called it when it first came out. That fried thing. It's got a garlic aioli you can dip it in. It seems healthy. A little healthy ish. Except I don't know. For the aioli, but it I just, I, good, so. Yeah, but I just, I don't come at Disney for healthy. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> this is absolutely magical. The only thing I wish is that they still had. The seating here, the rocking chairs, that is all gone, as you can tell. Safe to be like, Kristen, just bring your drink out into the grass. 
Yeah. It's so cozy out here. I know. I wish they had seating, but they I think they did it on purpose. Right. I get it. It's time to wrap up this awesome vlog. Go check out our other ones because again, they're as funny and, and fun and, and also edutainment. I call it educating while entertaining here on LBV TV, where it's never a dull moment. But again, we'll come back because we come here all the time for Halloween and for the Christmas season. It is so much fun. And as you can tell, this is the place to be for anything Halloween at the Disney parks. Trust me, you'll see when we show you more vlogs. That's why you gotta hit that like and subscribe button. If you haven't already, you gotta hit that. Again, the notifications bell because every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday is a vlog. Um, usually in the morning or at noon and even sometimes extras like this week. Now here on our channel, we never say goodbye because when there's magic and adventure, it never ends. It's just like what Mickey says. See you real soon.